Hello! So today I'm doing the Christmas scenario book tag. I was tagged by Kitty Masters just before Christmas and I didn't have time over Christmas and now it's past Christmas. So quite possibly no one's going to see this until next Christmas, which I can deal with. This tag was created by Kelly's Book Spill. I'll leave a tag in the bottom bit. Also, I've got to mention, over Christmas, I got some books. I'm not many. Don't worry, I'm just showing you the three major ones. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe, which I've been wanting to read for ages and ages and ages. A nice shiny paperback of the one Harry Potter book that we don't have, which is The Half-Blood Prince. And The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, which I don't know anything really about, so I'm going to be looking at a couple of booktube videos to find out. So, anyway, the Christmas scenario book tag. The idea is you take five books, you pick a random page to find a character, and you come across the first character you can, and then you put them with a scenario of this person does this kind of thing at Christmas. To make it more exciting, I've put all the scenarios on bits of paper, and I've put them in this Christmassy bag. Ooh. Christmassy. So I'll pick a book, I'll pick a page at random, I'll find a character, and then I'll sign them a mysterious Christmas scenario. I've tried to go for books, by the way, where I know the characters, and also there's like a lot of characters, not just like one or two, to like maximise the potential people I can talk about. So for the first two scenarios, I'm going to be taking characters from Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett. One of my favourite Terry Pratchett books, and possibly the second Terry Pratchett book I read. Maybe the third. So I'm going to pick page... this one. And... Detritus. I found Detritus the Troll. So at Christmas time, Detritus the Troll is the person who gives the worst gifts. Yes. Absolutely. Because he's a troll. That kind of also works with the New Age definition of troll, too. No, but he'd give people, like, rocks. And, and other trolls would be like, yeah, thanks for the rock. And everyone else would be like, thanks. So the second one is... <laughs> Bloody Stupid Johnson. Bloody Stupid Johnson in these books is an architect who um, is terrible. And at Christmas time, Bloody Stupid Johnson would be the Scrooge or Grinch who doesn't want anything to do with Christmas. Considering nothing that he does makes sense and like something that meant to be a fountain is like a wardrobe or something, that would kind of, he'd be like, hey Christmas, have some eggs. So for the second book with this tag, I'm going for Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. And I really hope I can remember like all the people in it because there's a lot of incidental characters. Cressida. Cressida. Cressida's a soldier? I have chosen poorly. I think Cressida is a soldier in Mockingjay and I feel ashamed that I'm not exactly sure. Cressida would be the person constantly trying to catch people under the mistletoe. Could be! I don't even know who she is. So for the fourth one, that's just a song. Peter! So Peter would be, there's a lot of potential here, the one always wearing the crazy Christmas sweater yeah, only nice people wear the crazy Christmas sweater. Everyone else finds an excuse. Whereas Peter's like, no, I'm going to wear that terrible sweater. For you, whoever made it. The third book I'm using for the Christmas scenario book tag is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. A lot of potential here. I can't remember all the characters, but I'm hoping someone I know will come up. Or like a god, because there's lots of gods in it. Hence the name. Shadow. Shadow, the main character from American Gods, is trying to avoid main characters. The person who knows the lyrics to every Christmas song. I mean, potentially, he's not exactly a light-hearted man, but he had enough time in prison where he could have learned lots of songs. I think that could happen. That would be, like, a surprising thing, but that could happen. It could. Woo choo choo! Woo choo choo! Let's find out who she is. She's a voodoo person? I am immediately regretting this tag. Uh, I'm gonna pick one, I get one, one swap. One swap. Wednesday. So Wednesday, or uh, a manifestation of Odin, would be the person who knocks over the Christmas tree at least twice. Probably, yeah, because he'd be a bit drunk, I imagine. So the next book I'm using for the tag is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm pretty confident I'm okay with the characters here. Mary! Mary, the Hobbit, would be the person who peeks at all the Christmas presents before Christmas. 
I imagine him and Pippin would probably do that because they wouldn't be able to contain their excitement. They're quite young. I imagine that actually does happen. For reals. Gandalf! No, all these people. I was hoping for a more obscure one in this one, to be honest. And I can amaze you with my knowledge of all the small roles. Gandalf would be the family member that makes a terrible fruitcake for Christmas dinner. But yeah, sure, he'd, he'd try and make a fruitcake. And it would be terrible because he wouldn't be able to do it properly, obviously. Two left to go, and I'm turning to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a book I'm sure we're all comfortable with, and the characters therein. We've got two situations left. One of them will be going to Hermione. Would be the Christmas fanatic who puts decorations up on November 1st. Yes, she would. Yes, she would. She would make sure everyone was festive and feeling good, and she would put up those decorations herself. She wouldn't want help because she'd want to do it herself so she knew where everything was and everything looked right. But if people were like, hey, can I put this here? She'd be like, no. Why would you put that there? It goes over here. The last Christmas scenario is... Hagrid, whatever it is, it's gonna be a good one. Hagrid would be the person who burns the ham and has to order Chinese takeout for Christmas dinner. Yeah, I don't know if he'd order Chinese takeout. I think he'd probably burn the ham or whatever food he was cooking because he'd be cooking it just on an open fire. Just be like, hey, I've got brandy. He will be like, no, and he'd be like, yes. So that was the Christmas scenario book tag. Thank you very much for tagging me, Katie Masters. I'm not going to tag anyone because it's past Christmas now and I feel that we should be moving on into the new year. So if you want to do this tag, you can. I'm not going to make you. Merry Christmas or happy Boxing Day, because it's Boxing Day now. And I hope you all have a very nice winter. Bye-bye.